it's really the top. And what does it feel like being, knowing that you were the last, one of the last of the crew members to fly in Discovery in space? Well, we, you know, of course, we were very honored to fly Discovery just in general, and certainly for, for last life was uh, a real honor. And, um, you know, we had a good crew, and we enjoyed the flight. Discovery came back in perfect conditions, which, you know, I think we've shown that as a vehicle flies and we learn things, that we can get to the point where we're, we're flying vehicles that are in great shape, and I'm just really happy that. But, you know, as Discovery was flying off today, we know she was in great shape and she'll be uh, taken care of by the, uh, the DC. Yeah, when you were in, in orbit on your last mission, did you think about this day at all? You know, we, uh, we were questioned about it a lot. Uh, we knew the day was coming. Uh, I think during the mission itself, we're focused you know, on the mission and the work we had to do up there. But we, we talked about it amongst ourselves. And, uh, I think it's, it's one of these things where you know, every one of these steps is part of the reality check of what is going on. And you know, I have to say, I, you know, I'm, I'm really sad to see her go. But uh, she's going off to a good, a good home where you know, people I, I'm hoping will take as good care of her as they have here. I'll, I'll send to those and you'll be there for the ceremony too? No, unfortunately we're not, okay. not going to be up there. Okay. I, I know there will be some other crew members there, and uh, I do look forward to those that I take my meal up there soon. Do you still live in Florida? I don't, no. Oh, okay. I, my base is in Houston, but I'm actually down here in Florida for, for a few months. Yeah. And one last question is, how important is it to 